Hey, good morning everybody. Greg here from Greg Cook Photography, as I always have my brands. So today, uh, I'm back here at the, uh, the train depot. Um, like I said before, whenever it's beautiful like this, the, the weather's great. Man, get outside, you know, get some fresh air, have fun. Ugh. So as I said in my previous video uh, from the uh, fig hunt, I want to do, uh, do a couple of things today in this video. Number one, um, I wanted to sort of preview the Extreme Sets uh, display pack. Um, I got this the other day, this D display pack three. I've not messed with it. I've not done anything with it, but uh, these are the ones that you can use in cabinets, um, especially the ones like you can get from Ikea. Another thing I wanted to do is show you how you could go to uh, your local home improvement store like a Lowe's, uh, Home Depot, pick up some things and make a diorama, make a backdrop. You know, it doesn't have to be complex, something really simple and just get out and do it. So some of the things I picked up, <clears throat> number one is these uh, soft linking mats. Um, they come in various colors, the, the gray I like. It's got a texture to it, sort of like a, a woven texture. Um, they lock into place. We'll do something with these. Um, five, let's see. There's four of these in a pack, and it was uh, 19 bucks. And they're pretty good size, 24 inches by 24 inches. So you can you can really do some stuff from you know six inch all the way up to the six scale stuff. Uh, Hot toy sideshow. So we're going to use some of these. <clears throat> Another thing, and I didn't buy these. I actually had these at the house because I've used them before. But uh, ceramic floor tiles. Ceramic floor tiles, uh, you can pick these up for uh, anywhere from three bucks to five bucks a piece. They got weight to them. They're a little heavy. But the variety of colors, textures, everything you can get, you can make some really cool uh, backdrops with these. So I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna use these today, but we'll see. Um, also, painter's tape, great stuff. <clears throat> I picked this thing up too. This is just a traditional um, wood bracket. As you can see, it's nothing fancy. I think this was six bucks, I think. But the beauty of these is if you take a mat like this, you can actually place it and then put a, a backdrop against it. So you've got a backrest. Uh, it works with the uh, tile. Just to give you a quick example, uh, you can take these ceramic tiles, you butt them up, take your bracket, voila, instantaneous backdrop. Move that bag out of the way. So there you go. These things, these things are really, really really cool to use um, rulers exacto knife and again painter tape but anyway I'm going to uh, figure out what I'm gonna do I uh, haven't unloaded any of my camera gear yet um, I'm probably going to start with these things uh, these mats to see what I can come up with and go from there and so I'll be back here in a minute Hey everybody, I'm back. So, I know this is probably going to be a boring part of this, but I just wanted to show you, I'm, I'm actually doing this here. I'm doing this on location. I'm, I'm not really planning any of this, but these are 24 by 24. The beauty of this 12 inch ruler, just sort of eyeball where you want to uh, make your cut. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just basically, you know, you're just, I'm going to cut one of these in half just to see something real quick. I got four of them, so I just wanted to see what it would actually look like cut in half. And again, it does not have to be precise. Make a little bend, just keep following the cut. 
a little bit more. And again, apologies for this not being the most exciting content in the world, but hey, you know, this is this is something that's fun to do. And if I'm out here doing it, I figured I might as well show you guys what I'm doing. Boom. There we go. So now you got two two pieces. Um, this particular size here, I think, will work really good for the uh, the six inch. But one thing I wanted to let everybody know: I have no training whatsoever building these things. I have experience with backdrops through my photography, but I do not have any kind of professional diorama building magic i'm just a photographer that is trying to scale down what i do in real life so anyway just wanted to show you this piece and uh so now basically what i'm thinking is if you notice you've got the the ears on both sides now all of these have a, a piece like this which is a squared edge piece so I took one off of this one, so you can actually come in and lay it. And now you have basically a good rounded edge. And I don't know if this will work or not, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, so what I'm wanting to do, I'm, I'm wanting to try to interlock right here, but I've got a gap, so I need to trim these down. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just take a basic, cut on one of them which will let me know approximately how far to cut I'm gonna trim these down and uh, I'll probably do the same thing on this one and I'll be right back hey guys I'm back so I have went and went ahead and trimmed these ears and I've trimmed these ears down and let's uh, let's put it together so basically you don't have to trim the ends because we're going to use those to lock this bad boy into place get it all in there nice and tight push that in a little bit more and now we should be able to pop all of this in place get that in there Need a little bit of trimming. You know what? I'm gonna take this off. Trim this one a little bit. <clears throat> Just take this little ear off. Go ahead and pop it back into place, and that should work out perfect. Voila! There we go, guys. I mean, it's uh, it's rough. Looks like I need to do a little bit more. Here's the beauty of it, spin it around. You can actually look and see if any of them need to be trimmed down a little bit. Cause you want, I think you want a little bit of a gap, but hey, there you go. There's a, a floor, two walls, pretty daggum quick, simple, easy. And this being 24 by 24, you can put a lot of figs in this little spot right here. So let me uh, let me trim some stuff down and get a better fit. And we might do a we might do a photo with this real quick, just to have it in there. Anyway, see you in here in a few minutes. All right, I'm back. So I did some trim work. I'm pretty overall happy with what I'm seeing. Um, now granted, this is a very uneven surface. This concrete that's on this, this dock area. So you're going to get some inconsistencies, but that's okay. If you do, painter's tape. Painter's tape is great. Because, and the reason why I use painter's tape, uh, I have what's called gaffer tape and it works the same but gaffer tape is pretty expensive um, 
container tape. Again, we're going with the uh, home improvement center style. This stuff you can get, same place you can get this. You don't have to special order it, nothing. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a little bit of a, a gap here. I'm gonna slide this. Have a train coming, so we'll probably, uh, you'll probably hear the train. Just come up underneath, come right where this ear is on the back. Pull it up tight. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, grab my gear, get, get a camera out, get a fig, show you guys what I'm gonna unbox today. I don't know if I'm gonna unbox them all, but I'm gonna show you what I got and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'm back. Um, I actually waited till the train went by. So I've got four things that uh, I have picked up or uh, I got in the mail this week I do not know if I'm going to unbox them all here I'm still trying to figure it out so you guys saw that I picked up the daredevil uh, the daredevil I'm really thinking about it you guys saw that I picked up the uh, got my my captain Rexes. I did say we were going to unbox this one so this one more than more than likely I went to Ross this morning and picked up this uh, War Machine and Mark 27. Box was all jacked up, got it at a good price. Uh, price. Price. I think uh, like nine bucks. Couldn't pass it up. Um, and then I went to Walgreens and I posted a picture of this. But uh, Admiral Th uh, Thrawn, I actually found hid behind the puppy training pads. It's pretty cool. And he was the only new Star Wars that was in the whole Walgreens. And obviously somebody thought they had a really good hiding spot, but guess what? They did not. So there he is. Might unbox him. So I've got my camera out. Got my backdrop. Let's go ahead and grab uh what do we want to do? Let me get a couple more things and get that out here and then we'll uh, probably unbox the Daredevil first. Yeah, let's unbox the Daredevil first. So give me a second. I need to fill up my uh, Yeti that my best friend Didi got me for my birthday. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So let's go ahead and crack open. This daredevil. Let's see what we can come up with here. I'll put this box. I'll put it right there out of the way. I know they don't do it, but can you imagine? If your job in, in, in the world was to uh, manually twist tie every twist tie that we have on our big, how bad would you be hating life? I know I would be. And you know my motto, save the twisty. Apologies for the noise. I probably should have done this part off camera, but I just I'm just really stoked that you all see exactly what I'm doing every time I go out. So when you know when you see me post a picture on Instagram or my Facebook page or on the syndicate or anything like that, this is this is how I'm doing it. This is me in a nutshell. Struggling with twisties, clamshells, 
I know some people out there um, just cut these off. Honestly, those 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 twisties come in handy. At least I'm not calling them zip ties like I did last last video. Sometimes I wonder where my brain is. Wow. Man, this Daredevil, I think they actually added knots to this one. They didn't want that leg to come out. So, I've been seeing, like, I watched um, Foxy Faux Reel's uh, origin video the other day. And uh, I really would like to see like Josh Pence and Cincy Nerd and a few of the other guys do one as well. And I know I haven't been doing this near as long as everybody else, but I'm actually thinking about it as well and not from the perspective of, you know, my collection or anything else like that. But just to sort of show or tell you guys exactly how I transitioned here to this. Wow, this Daredevil's heavy. Man, he's got some weight to him. I, that surprised me. I, I, I was not expecting the, the weight, so. All right, so let me, uh, so we've got the Daredevil, got his uh, nunchucks. <laughs> And there's a cross. That's pretty much all it comes with him, but that's cool. Um, no extra hands, got a fist, got him swinging the nunchucks. So let me get him set up in a pose. Let me get my, uh, I got, already got my camera gear out. I need to attach my GoPro. And I might actually keep that cross in there for this one. I, I, don't, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so let me give you a quick look of the actual let me give you a little close up here so basically this is that foam and as you can see you know it's it has a really good uh really good texture to it looks good and it's a good neutral color you know Alright guys, I will be back here in a minute. Hey guys, I'm back. Alright, so, got my camera out. You guys saw this in my uh, last video about using my uh, GoPro for uh, POV shots. I really, uh, I'm a big fan of doing this. Really a big fan. So, I've got Daredevil set up. Um, I don't like that push. That looks a little weird. There we go. Again, this is just something just really quick, easy, with a neutral gray background that you can actually have fun with. So let's uh, let's take some photos. Let's see what we can come up with. Uh, as always, my camera settings. Let's see. I'm doing uh, one two hundredth of a second, two point eight. Uh, which is a pretty wide open aperture and ISO 200. So let's see what we can do. There we go. I'm digging it. Let's do this. Change the focal point to his face. Come up a little. Bam. So, whoops. Might help if you, uh, if I actually showed you the actual picture, huh? There you go, guys. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's right out of the camera. Daredevil. That's pretty cool. I'm digging it. All right, so this is... I'm not going to photo a lot here on this one because I really want to mess with these these uh, backdrops from Extreme Sets. But I'm thinking about using one of these for a base for those. So I'm going to tear this down real quick. I'm still going to photograph Daredevil. 
Uh, I just want to change things up a little bit. So let me get everything else. I might go ahead and build it and then come back in because this is going to be pretty simple. Um, I'll be using this piece and these are already from the extreme sets. They're already, they're cardboard. It's just like the uh, asylum that I did in the last video. Basically, just lay it down, stand it up, boom, done. So I might go ahead and build it and uh, come back here in just a second. So I will see you in a minute. All right, we're back. So I changed my mind a little bit. I wanted to unbox these on camera. Since I haven't seen them yet, I want to unbox these on camera. But what I did do is I took one of the mats, I went ahead and put all four of the square edge borders around it. Um, when you're using things like this, this makes a good work surface as well. So, again, this is uh, display pack number three. I think it's more industrial, if I remember correctly. So let's uh, let's pop this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Another thing I like about these is they're so portable. Very portable. All right, so let's see here. We got we got four wall panels. So there's one. There's two. Nice little set of lips on it. Uh, three and four. So this one has no graffiti on it. That's that's pretty cool uh, for the wall panels. And we have. Floor panels and the floor panels, two of them are this way and two of them are this way. So you have two different styles of floor panels. Um, so yeah, let's see, Daredevil. I'm sort of digging that one. Now I like the I like the, the yellow splatter. So that's pretty cool. And. Maybe that'll work. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. So I've got my uh, floor panels picked. I've got my wall panel picked. I'll tell you something else that's really cool about these uh, ceramic tiles. Because all this cord cardboard has just a little bit of a, a bend to it. <laughs> These ceramic tiles are heavy. Put them upside down. Voila. All right. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. And I think I'm actually going to do it this way. So since these have no kind of infrastructure to, to hold them up, I'm gonna go back to my old friend, the painter tape. And the beauty of the painter tape, it doesn't stick, uh, it sticks, but it's not destructive sticking. It's not like a permanent stick. So just, you know, take a piece or two of it, Just sort of make a uh, painter a painter tape hinge. Finally, there's a breeze blowing now. And take it, fold it up. Voila. Let's, un let's unwrap this thing. I haven't even unwrapped this yet. Tell you guys, this is all out in the field. Don't want to hold nothing back. I want you guys to see... Uh, See what I go through. All right, so we've got we've got that. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. This one, like I said, it's got that little bit of a bow in it. I'm not digging that, but that's okay. And we can also do this. Let me spin this around, show it to you. So, I'm gonna butt it up. Another piece of painter tape. Put 
Go ahead and push it in nice and tight. Give her a nice little, and this, this is just basically just, just support, that's all it is. Put that back there in the corner. And just to give you an idea, so the Daredevil fig, since this cardboard is a little bit of a slick surface, might have to play with them a little bit. But bam, so let me, uh, let me show you up close. See what you think. Sorry about that. I hit the re, uh, record button, but yeah, we'll do a little uh, close up. And voila. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Simple, easy, not hard to do. Um, let me grab my camera and uh, I'll be back here in just a second. All right, I'm back. Got the camera. Now, the disadvantage of this is you have a very limited workflow for the photograph. You don't have a lot to frame in, but, but, what you could do, you could actually do this, like that, frame it in. Let me show you this real quick. So you could actually frame it in and that gives you more dynamic range with the actual photograph until it falls over like that. <laughs> so there you go. Yes, it happens. This particular one doesn't go with that one. It's good, but like I said, you can, you can be creative with this. I mean, you can, You can actually have some pretty, pretty big fun messing around with these things. I'm actually liking, I'm actually liking that one. So I'm gonna actually uh, use that. Let me uh, put these back in the uh, the press. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, this actually is uh, pretty good. Got a little bit of bow back there, but. Uh, I can fix that. We're going to fix it in the field. Same basic principle we did before. You figure out what you like. Painter tape. So like I said, this has that little bit of a bow in it because they're brand new out of the box. I didn't have a, uh, I didn't go in and, and uh, pre-straighten them. So that's okay though. There we go. Boom. Don't have to worry about, I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about a piece underneath. No, that's, that's perfect right there. So let me see if I can adjust this a little bit better so you out there can see a little bit more what I'm seeing. So let's get Daredevil back in here. Get him posed. For all you out there that are hair challenged, like me, totally off topic, but I gotta do it. The, I love being bald. I have no problems with it whatsoever. The thing I hate about it is, yeah, <laughs> the water flows, let me just say that. So. Let me uh, see if I can adjust this a little bit different. All right, let's take a let's, let's take a test shot. See what we got. Didn't change anything on the camera. No setting changes. Holy crap, guys! I'm telling you, right out of the camera, that absolutely is amazing. And now that I have this other wall here, now I can do a wider, not a horizontal shot, but a landscape shot, which is even cooler.
Remember the rules of thirds. There we go. Nice, right there. Boom. I don't think the cr I don't think the cross fits. I mean, it, it may. Well, color wise, it does. I just don't know if the content if it does. But hey, we'll try it and see. Doesn't hurt to try. Very cool. I don't know. What do y'all think? With the cross or without the cross? Cool. This is pretty badass. I'm digging it. So I'm gonna experiment a little bit here in a minute. Uh, I've actually brought some gear out with me that you guys have not seen me use before. Uh, but I use it all the time. I wanna see how it applies to this. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. If you've noticed, there's some different things here now. All right, so let me give you a little bit of a rundown. I've still got Daredevil in place. Not moving him yet, but I have added my uh, Hot Shoe Flash. Shameless uh, manufacturer plug. This is a Speedlight 430 EX2. I've had it for six seven years now I've attached it via a hot shoe adapter to my Platypod Pro which you guys have seen before you know it works out great you can sit there and level it out and there's a little bit of a tweak in that one a little bit of a tweak there so let's get her nice and centered there we go Attached is the my pocket wizards, and these are remote uh, trans transmitters. Um, this one's tied to the flash. My other one's to my camera. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some dr dramatic lighting. And I know you're asking yourself, Greg, man, it's it's broad daylight. You don't need a flash, and you're right, you don't unless you want to add some just dramatic lighting to it. So what I've done, the only changes I have made to the camera are, I'm still shooting at 1 2 50th of a second now. I took my f-stop up to eight, ISO still 200. I don't know what this is gonna to do to the camera, so apologies. Uh, let's get rid of the cross, don't need it. Uh, readjust him a hair. Let's see what we can come up with. Wow. We take that down just a hair. Nice. All right. So let's do it without the flash, because I want I want you to see what what I'm talking about without me having to go back to a lot of the earlier pictures. So no flash. Hang on one second, guys. Apologies. I need to take my f-stop back down to what I originally had it before I put the flash on. So you're only making one change. It's all the change I'm making. Went from F8 back down to F2.8, which is what I did before without the flash. So here it is without the flash. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna bump this back up to eight. Turn on my pocket wizard. The flash is still on. I'm not moving. I'm not changing anything except the F-stop. Here we go, same composition. Boom. All right. Go ahead and turn this off. Save your batteries. Let me adjust this camera a little bit. I think I'm down a little bit too low. Sorry, guys. You would think I'd know what I was doing. All right. 
Hey, there we go. All right, so what we're going to do, and again, I'll probably put these in the video. Yes, I'm going to put them in the video. So this is without the flash, 250th of a second, 2.8 ISO 200. And this, whoops, I went too far. Okay, once again, that's without the flash. That's with the flash. And again, I know you can't see it as good um, as I can see it, but I will put, um, I will try my best to remember, you know, my brain. I'll try to uh, remember to put the without flash and then with the flash for this particular one in the video so yeah i'm gonna shoot some more be back in a little bit Hey everybody, I'm back. So, I wanted to uh, sort of show you this. Let me get this out of the way real quick. What these actually look like with a, uh, like a side show or a Hot Toys. So, basically, you can see it works. You can uh, make some really cool displays with these things, especially in your, uh, in your cabinets if you if you've got cabinets then uh, you can definitely do some really cool stuff with it but heck man I've got him out here I haven't changed anything I'm going from six inch to six scale let's see what we, let's see what it looks like don't know trial and error zoom in a little bit Not bad, not bad at all. I think I'm gonna pose him a little differently. Take that leg back just a hair. If you can. Don't move, pool, don't move. Breeze is blowing. <laughs> all right, let's see here. See, he failed, but because of that bracket back here, it didn't wipe out everything. So that was pretty cool. I was pretty stoked that that, uh, that actually worked. So yeah, let's get him back in position again. Take another one. I'm gonna take the um, F-stop down to 6.3 waiting on my flash to uh, recycle there we go all right here we go there we go so there's uh, Deadpool with the backdrop very cool all right I just wanted to show you guys that real quick like I said I keep a lot of my uh, I keep a lot of my figs with me in the car because you never know when you might be uh, wanting to uh, take a picture of something. So I'm going to, I really, I know it's not going to go with it, but I'm really wanting to take one of these Star Wars figures and throw him into here. And the background does not go with it whatsoever with the graffiti. But I'm weird like that, so let me uh, let me put Pulley back, and I promised that would we would unbox this one. I'll unbox him next, and we will see what we can come up with. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I think this this plain 
wall right here will work with this. Um, and the beauty of this is once you get this one set up like this, just take this, put it right there. Boom. And then, painter tape. Pop off the side piece. Bring this around. And voila. I think that'll work. All right. Let's unbox him. Nice. Very nice. Aha! I actually have something today with me that uh, I can use. Box cutter for X-Acto knife. Alright. I'm so stoked for this. I mean, like I, like I said at the end of my video yesterday, as of right now, this is my favorite um, Star Wars Black Series. No, tw no twisties on these. Looks like strings or rubber bands. So let's get Rex out of package. It's a weird, weird piece of tape. So let's get this out. Come on. That piece of tape doesn't want to come out. Oh, I missed one. I missed one. So, what do, uh, you know, you guys, I see a lot of stuff, uh, like I said, a lot of really cool uh, photos that all you guys do. Um, what's your thought process on how you actually uh, set one up? You know, I think that I'd be really interested in knowing that. All right, let's get all these little tidbits off of him. Got a little bit of a bow in his leg, but hey, you know, that's okay. This thing is, it's just badass. And I love, I love this soft goods. I mean, the soft goods are, I mean, they're spot on. I love these. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna have some. We're gonna have some fun with this one. All right. I'm not gonna take out all the weapons, but I am. I'm gonna take take the big daddy out. You always got to uh, use your biggest gun first. Yeah. Right. Let me uh, readjust a few things. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is the way to go right here. Sorry if I'm uh, boring you guys right now, but uh, this is real. This is live. It's not Memorex. And I'm probably the only one that actually truly understands the reference to that. <laughs> Right. See what kind of uh, positions we can get him in here with the uh, the big daddy gun. Not a hundred percent sure how this will translate, but hey, let's see. See if I can finagle him into some kind of really cool pose. Hold your trigger finger, son. Hold your trigger finger. Yeah. 
yeah. We're getting there. I promise. We're getting there. I promise you. We're close. We're close. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this one on first. Then do the trigger finger. Maybe. Oh, there we go. I think we're I think we're oh, I think we're getting close. I think that'll work. Now let's see if I can finagle this hand on. Close enough for government work. Alright. Let's see. What kind of uh pose I can get him in here. I'm probably going to put a piece of tape on that. Again, painter's tape. Cool thing about this, you know, I think we're good. Also, you can use binder clips. I meant to bring some of those with me, so but I didn't. So let's do one without any kind of flash because I don't have a wall there. Let's just see what, uh, whoops. Let's take a picture of a brick. Take it back to the original 1250th, 2.8 ISO 200. Let's see here. Test shot, a little dark. So we're gonna take her up a little bit. Yeah, that's working. I think I'm going to darken it up just a hair more because the reason why I'm darkening it is because his pro prominent color is white. And it's very reflective. So, all right. Um, let's see what else I can do. I'll be right back. Thought I'd show you guys a uh, just a quick little pan right here. I almost forgot that you could take uh, take his helmet off, but uh, there you go, right there. So let's get back to shooting pictures. Hey guys, all right, so apologies first and foremost. I don't know if I'm gonna box anymore today because to be honest with you, I'm really digging this um, Rex. Um, I'm having fun photographing him and I don't wanna bore you guys with me just constantly taking photos of, of him. But uh, That'll give me some other figs to mess around with next time. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this video today. Um, I'll keep them coming. I uh, hope you guys like my content. And as always, please like and subscribe. Share my videos. Um, if I'm helping, great. If you have questions, let me know. Uh, I'm all over the interweb. But anyway, guys, this is going to be a close to this uh, episode of Shooting Figs. So until next time. I'm Greg. Have a great week. Good luck hunting. Talk to you next time.